America secretly experimenting on humans? Are the diseases that have ravaged the human population man-made? Have government scientists created real-life monsters that can no longer be contained? People described it as a cross between a dog and a raccoon and even a sea turtle. The answers to these frightening questions may be found on Plum Island in Suffolk County, New York, an animal disease research center that some say is the real-life island of Dr. Moreau. Tonight, we expose a sinister plan that could be in the works to expand this facility across the nation and bring the horrors of bioterror right to your front door. Join us as the secrets of Plum Island are unsealed. What if the history you were taught in school was all a lie? Is our government controlled by a secret society? Welcome to the world of conspiracy, where cover-ups, secrets, and hidden agendas all trace back to a single source. We're about to unseal the secret files the government doesn't want you to know about. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Mutants, monsters, and abominations leave us mystified from the jungles of Africa to the backyards of America. Many are products of science, sometimes in the pursuit of good. Others reveal the evil done behind closed doors. East Hampton, New York, 2008. At the island's northern tip in Montauk, the beach resort hamlet is enjoying a busy tourist season. But then, a grisly discovery turns a day of fun into a day of terror. It happens when a 26-year-old woman and her three friends stumble across something that looks like a creature from a Hollywood horror movie. Unlike any known living being, it defies all laws of nature. And to this day, it has never been identified. The Montauk monster, is it myth or is it real? People described it as a cross between a dog and a raccoon and even a sea turtle. It seemed like every part of nature played some type of part in the creation of whatever this was. In the weeks that follow, news media and cryptozoologists examining the photographs report theories from the simple. Some say it was simply a bloated raccoon. To the otherworldly. But others claim that it was an extraterrestrial. <laughs> What's underneath that skull thing? Is that the brain? Could be an alien. But to the residents of this Long Island town, the answer hits much closer to home. Just off the coast of New York, and a stone's throw from Manta, lies Plum Island. A top secret animal disease research center haunted by rumors of genetic and biological experimentation. The accusation is, of course, denied. But in 2009, several events started to occur that show that there is much more going on on Plum Island than we know about. Another hybrid creature washes up on the beaches of Connecticut, followed by another in 2011. And within the span of a year, two more on Long Island. Are these shocking real-life photographs a glimpse inside the secrets of Plum Island? There's absolutely no denying that this is real. This is happening time and time again. And now, as the alleged evidence piles up on the shores of the East Coast, a rather sudden announcement is made. The facility will be closing, but have the secrets of Plum Island already escaped? The secrecy surrounding Plum Island was so intense that scientists were being flown in and flown out. It was like the Area 51 for bioweapons. 
Exposing the history of Plum Island reveals chilling facts that suggest the facility may host the development of what could be catastrophic bio-warfare weapons and that it might not only be animals they're experimenting on. This is the definition of biosafety. Level four, it involves diseases for which there is no cure. If one of those diseases would get out, it could be catastrophic. How did we build one of the deadliest germ labs on Earth? We didn't. We hired the Nazis to do it for us. Coming up next, ties to one of history's most evil regimes sheds light on Plum Island's true purpose and potential. This man was one of the Nazis' lead disease researchers during the war. And instead of prosecuting him, we offer him a job to run one of our facilities. And later, we uncover the upcoming location of the new Plum Island. But be warned, it's closer than you think. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. 90 miles from the 8.5 million people of New York City lies Plum Island, an animal research center which may house some of America's darkest secrets. And it all begins with a history reaching back to Nazi Germany. Unsealed Case File, Operation Paperclip. Reims Island, Germany. Founded in 1910, it is the home of the world's oldest virological laboratory. And in World War II, was the home base of SS bioweapons research led by Nazi scientist Eric Traub. Under Heinrich Himmler, Traub investigated and experimented in unique forms of biowarfare for Hitler's army including fatal diseases carried by biting or stinging insects. Traub discovered that with the use of an infectious disease, you could put that into a tick and use that as a weapon in warfare. If you were to do that, you can drop that on your enemy and never have to put your troops into harm's way. Traub and his bioweapons failed to turn the tides for the Nazis in World War II. But after the war, Russia and the U.S. gave top Nazi scientists immunity from war crimes in exchange for their services. One such specialist, Eric Traub. Eric Traub was picked up by the United States government under its program called Project Paperclip. This was a program in which various Nazi scientists were brought to the United States and put to use. Based on the design of Reams Island, the U.S. begins work on their own lab off the coast of New York. The Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center is opened in 1954. U.S. officials feel so strongly about Traub's knowledge and know-how of this type of research, they even offer him a job as the director of Plum Island. The one thing the Allies didn't want to happen was to have the Soviets get the jump on the Allies in infectious diseases. They smuggled Traub out of Berlin into the United States. The Nazis were brutal torturers and killers. Many of them were prosecuted at Nuremberg after the war, but not Eric Traub. Nineteen seventy five. The small quiet town of Old Lyme, Connecticut is home to seventy five hundred residents just east of the Connecticut River and is ground zero for a frightening new affliction. An outbreak of fever, fainting, psychosis, delusional behavior, and paralysis. The infection is the first of its kind, and it's named after the town. Lyme disease is a very devastating nerve disease. But most unsettling is how the disease spreads, through ticks. And just 25 miles downwind from old Lyme, Connecticut, across Long Island Sound, is Plum Island. This is Eric Traub's calling card. Documents from the National Institute of Health show that Plum Island has experimented extensively with tick-borne diseases. 
Was this a case of Traub's infected ticks escaping the labs? Or even worse, was the spread of this disease intentional? While accusing a government facility of experimenting with disease on its own people may sound treasonous, it is, in fact, deadly accurate. In 1962, during the administration of John F. Kennedy, he initiated a project known as SHAD. Project SHAD is an example of what the American military did to its own personnel in testing bioweapons. It was one of many, many experiments done on our own troops. To this very day, we never really know who died as a result of Project Shad and who didn't. American sailors stationed on Navy vessels are exposed to toxic nerve gas on 46 separate occasions. They got sick, they died, nobody knew about it, and to this day, the records of Project Shad are pretty much concealed. The history shows that the U.S. military and government has tested these agents on humans without their knowledge. The Tuskegee experiments with syphilis prove beyond any shadow of a doubt they will do it. And it's proven, it's factual, it's documented. But what about the experiments we don't know about? The ones that could be happening to any of us right now. Coming up next, biolab experiments on human beings might seem unthinkable until a body washes ashore. Plum Island, a very unusual body. It was found by security guards there at the facility, and it was said to not fully be human. And just because you don't live on the East Coast doesn't mean you're safe from an outbreak that's eating people alive. Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. History has proven the U.S. government is willing to poison its own people with agents of bio-warfare. But is human experimentation actually being carried out on Plum Island? You have a base designed by a Nazi studying the effects of biological agents on animals and humans makes you wonder if humans themselves are being tested on Plum Island. What if the next Montauk monster is a human? In January 2010, some say he was. A six-foot-tall African-American male washed up on the shores of Plum Island. He was found by security guards, and it's said that he wasn't entirely human-like in appearance. He had these abnormally large fingers. To date, the case remains unsolved. But one detail in particular causes alarm. The victim was reported to have five holes drilled into his head, a potential sign of invasive brain surgery or experimentation. Why would the government experiment on human beings? Why would they take these biological agents and use them on unwilling human subjects? I think the answer might be that we have to see the effects of these biological agents before we implement them in war. If humans are being subjected to biological tests in this lab, how can it be kept secret? Unless they're not working alone. Unsealed case file, biohazard outbreak. A 2007 study reported that 113 laboratories throughout the U.S. with bioweapon capabilities refused to disclose their operations to the public. This secrecy, a violation of the Geneva Convention, would normally not be allowed by federal law. But reports indicate amnesty was granted by President George W. Bush. Members of Congress, and fellow Americans. It seems that the answer is pretty clear that the United States government is funding these programs, uh, testing biological agents. Whether they're testing them on animals or humans doesn't really matter. They're funding the research. Now, if you have more than 100 facilities that don't want to disclose what they're doing, you have to ask yourself, what is going on that we just don't know about? Syphilis in Alabama, yellow fever in Florida, Lyme disease in Connecticut, hantavirus in New Mexico, even bubonic plague. With disease labs spread across the country, experimentation is just one of the possible threats. A simple mistake could be the beginning of an epidemic 
that would devour us all. May 2012, 24-year-old Amy Copeland is hospitalized after injuring herself while ziplining over a river outside Atlanta, Georgia. What seems like a routine surgery quickly reveals a bacteria not only infecting her body, but killing it as it spreads quickly through her flesh. Once this, this infection has taken hold, it's moving so progressively that uh, the antibiotics cannot get ahead of the infection. The flesh-eating virus is, as its name implies, extraordinarily deadly because it eats a human being from the inside out. Then, within the same year, this relatively unheard of affliction suddenly appears again and again in the Atlanta area, followed by two more in South Carolina. And when we look at these five known cases of the outbreak on a map, a startling revelation is made. When you've got a certain region that now starts to have not one, not two, but you start getting into four or five and maybe even an outbreak of cases, then add in the fact that there's a CDC facility not too far away. You have to ask, is there a connection? The CDC is in charge of infectious disease prevention and awareness in America, perhaps the most advanced institute of its kind. But shortly after the outbreak of flesh-eating bacteria, the government announces a congressional investigation of reported air leaks and safety lapses that occurred in February of 2012, just three months before Amy Copeland's accident. The CDC likes to conduct tours. There was a reverse of an airflow. And so the CDC admitted that a virus that was being tested might have escaped into a corridor where a tour was taking place. Was this bacteria created as a weapon and released by accident? If not, then why has the recent government decision to move Plum Island resulted in a new location further from the population centers of the East Coast, but a location closer to the rest of us? Coming up next, what government plan for Plum Island could create the biggest biological threat in American history? And how could it bring disease right into your very home? Join us when we return. Unsealed Conspiracy Files. Welcome back to the world of conspiracy. This is Unsealed Conspiracy Files. The time to act is now. There are three simple steps you can take to unseal the truth. Follow on Twitter. Follow the Unsealed Twitter feed to receive breaking news of the latest conspiracies as they develop. Tell your story. What did you see that you shouldn't have? The government's known about it all along. Why has nobody told us? Upload stories and pictures to our interactive map. Join the movement. Get the Unsealed bracelet and the unique code hidden underneath to access exclusive content. Stop living in the dark. It is definitely coming this way. Get involved in the fight to unseal the truth. Now. Following the discovery of monsters and mysterious bodies comes the announcement that Plum Island intends to relocate its facility. The new location, Manhattan, Kansas, right in the heart of cattle country. According to the government, the lab is moving for financial reasons. But relocating such a facility in the breadbasket of America could have catastrophic consequences. So what if one of these pathogens got into our meat supply? You're in the middle of Tornado Alley. What if nature decides to rip a tornado through that building? Could an outbreak spread through the nation resulting in a catastrophic death toll? If the stories of Plum Island are true, we may find out with each of us an unwilling participant in the experiment. Unsealed. Conspiracy Files.